As motion and precision is the key competence of PI, it's a logical consequence to deliver active vibration compensation as well. From my point of view, it is about compactness and in particular about integration of features. Talking about active vibration control, it is obvious that the basic idea and requirements are not new. There are numerous solutions available on the market serving lots of different applications. In terms of high precision positioning, typical solutions can look as follows. You take some kind of isolating device, a frame that compensates external disturbances, and on top you mount your high precision positioning device, or probably a PI solution. In principle, it's always a good idea to work as close as possible together with the customer to get a common understanding of the requirements of the application itself and the solutions that we can deliver. In most cases, this is an iterative process, including, for example, adaptation of concepts, model refinement or parameter identification. Once we understood the requirements of the customer, we start to build up models and to simulate, to have a virtual system and start the iteration again until the customer and we are confident that the solution will be the best that we can get. The new feature of this technology is that we are able to combine motion and active vibration control. Thus, we enhance the customer to even be more precise than before. In this case, we have invented a process to optimize the modal decoupling of customer mechanics. After setting up this setup and seeing the first time switching on and switching off the difference was really groundbreaking. So there was a really big effort and a really good solution. That was a big highlight. This way of working, develop new concepts, carry out simulations, build first prototypes and finally bring ideas to life this is what is fun to me and this is how we drive innovation.